in the mystical realms of the human mind, a small, pine-cone-shaped gland nestled deep within the brain has long been revered as a gateway to higher consciousness. The pineal gland, often referred to as the third eye, has captivated the attention of mystics, philosophers, and scientists alike, as it is believed to play a pivotal role in unlocking our spiritual and psychic faculties. Modern research has shed light on the intricate workings of this enigmatic structure revealing that it is susceptible to a common affliction. Calcification, this hardening of the pineal gland, a result of various lifestyle factors, can significantly impede its optimal functioning, hindering the production of crucial hormones and neurotransmitters associated with expanded awareness. When the pineal gland operates at its full potential, it holds the power to induce mystical states of consciousness, evoke vivid inner visions, facilitate lucid dreaming, enhance psychic abilities, inspire creativity, and even tap into a universal intelligence that transcends our ordinary perception. However, the widespread calcification of this gland in contemporary society has led to a concerning dormancy leaving many individuals longing to reawaken this dormant portal to the divine. Interestingly, the pineal gland's role in spiritual and cognitive processes is not a recent revelation. Throughout history, revered figures from diverse cultures, such as saints, shamans, prophets, and spiritual adepts, have attributed profound significance to this enigmatic structure. From ancient Egypt, Greece, India and China. The pineal gland has been venerated as the focal point for spiritual vision and inner enlightenment, with the renowned philosopher Descartes famously dubbing it the seat of the soul. One of the primary culprits behind the calcification of the pineal gland is the ubiquitous presence of fluoride in our modern environment. Exposure to fluoride from sources like tap water, dental products, and various other sources can lead to the gradual formation of hardened fluoride deposits within the gland. These deposits not only impede the pineal gland's ability to facilitate spiritual and cognitive processes, but also inflict damage upon the specialized cells, known as pinealocytes, which are responsible for producing essential hormones, like melatonin, and the powerful psychedelic neurotransmitter, DEM-T. Numerous studies conducted on both animals and humans have provided compelling evidence that fluoride exposure significantly reduces melatonin production and diminishes the overall activity within the pineal gland. In fact, the pineal gland sustains greater damage and calcification from fluoride than any other part of the body making it the primary target of this ubiquitous toxin. Interestingly, the pineal gland's production of DMT, a substance often referred to as the spirit molecule, has captured the attention of researchers and spiritual seekers alike. This potent neurotransmitter, when activated, has the potential to induce mystical experiences and even near death-like phenomena, providing a glimpse into the extraordinary realms of consciousness that lie beyond our ordinary perception. In addition to the detrimental effects of fluoride, the overconsumption of refined sugars and excessive carbohydrates can also contribute to the calcification of the pineal gland. The process of insulin resistance whereby the body's cells become less responsive to insulin signals due to continuous exposure, initiates an inflammatory response that can severely impede blood flow to the pineal gland, depriving it of the necessary oxygen and nutrients it requires to function optimally. Furthermore, the direct presence of high sugar levels in the bloodstream can lead to a process called glycation, where sugar molecules attach to and compromise the integrity of cellular structures and DNA, 
further exacerbating the calcification of the pineal gland. This vicious cycle of insulin resistance and sugar-induced inflammation creates a highly toxic environment that can gradually erode the vitality of this mystical organ. Interestingly, emerging research suggests that certain natural remedies may hold the key to unlocking the pineal gland's full potential. One such superfood that has garnered significant attention is raw, unprocessed kakako, rich in a unique blend of antioxidants, minerals, neurotransmitter precursors, and other beneficial compounds. Raw cacao has demonstrated the ability to shield the pineal gland from oxidative damage while aiding in the removal of calcification. The pineal gland is particularly sensitive to the nourishment provided by essential minerals like magnesium, zinc, and iron, all of which are abundantly present in raw cacao. Additionally, Cacao contains tryptophan, a precursor molecule necessary for the production of melatonin, DMT, and serotonin within the pineal gland, further enhancing its restorative properties. Interestingly, the fermentation process applied to certain raw cacao products can activate enzymes and transform nutrients into a more bioavailable form making them even more effective in supporting the decalcification and rejuvenation of the pineal gland. By incorporating small portions of truly raw, unprocessed cacao into one's daily routine, individuals can harness the power of this superfood to nourish and revitalize their long-dormant pineal gland. Alongside dietary interventions, Certain herbs and minerals have also shown promise in aiding the decalcification and stimulation of the pineal gland. Herbs like ashwagandha, ginkgo biloba, and bacopa monieri have been traditionally used in various spiritual and healing practices to enhance cognitive function, improve sleep, and support the overall health of the pineal gland. However, it is crucial to exercise caution and consult with a healthcare professional before experimenting with any new herbs or significantly increasing mineral intake, as these potent remedies can have profound effects on the body and may interact with certain medical conditions or medications. As individuals embark on the journey of pineal gland rejuvenation, it is essential to address the issue holistically considering the various factors that contribute to its calcification and implementing a multifaceted approach to restore its optimal functioning. By adopting strategies such as minimizing fluoride exposure, reducing sugar intake, supplementing with melatonin, and incorporating raw cacao and specific herbs into one's diet, the layers of calcification can gradually dissipate, allowing the pineal gland to reawaken and resume its vital role in promoting physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. As the pineal gland regains its vitality, individuals may experience profound transformations, including improvements in lucid dreaming abilities, heightened psychic sensitivities, and enhanced creative flow states. Some even report experiencing visionary lights or mystical encounters as their long, dormant pineal gland becomes active once more. Ultimately, by committing to the process of decalcifying and reactivating the pineal gland, individuals embark on a transformative journey toward deeper self-realization, wisdom, and purpose. The unhindered pineal gland serves as a guiding force, unlocking the higher dimensions of knowledge, creativity, and inspiration, and paving the way for the awakening of our true spiritual potential. As we remove the calcific barriers that have long obscured this mystical gland, we open ourselves to the limitless possibilities that lie beyond the confines of our ordinary perception.